Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers. So this is yet another interesting set in our daily DILR mornings. We cover one new set every day. If you wish to be the part of this, do what is mentioned over here. Also before we move, do subscribe to our channel. Also before we move, this is a comprehensive view of the courses that we offer. These are some of the most affordable and the best courses in the country. And I can assure you upon that, the personal attention you will get here, you will not get anywhere else. If you want to take the demo, you can call me or you can WhatsApp me at the following number. Now, let's move ahead. These are the sets that we have covered up to now, covered in our daily series. In fact, we have covered a lot of variety. This is our 24th set of the series. Now, what does this set say? There are seven people, A through G, who live on a different floor and they have a different profession. So their professions are mentioned, their floors are mentioned, and then there is a condition given. So first thing that should come to my mind, how should I organize my data? I know that there are seven floors. I know there are seven people. I know there are some professions. I know there are, there are these constraints. These are, these, these are the constraints. So let me make a table and let me try to fill the data. So these are the floors. There can be different persons and there can be some profession. So I'll just write whatever is given to me first and then we will do some permutations and combinations and see what is possible and what is not. I know that there are these people. Okay. Now, uh, the first point says the accountant lives on a floor above the fourth floor. So accountant lives somewhere here. So here can be accountant, here can be accountant, here can be accountant. Okay. On which engineer lives? So on the fourth floor, an engineer is living. Okay. And B is not the accountant. B is not the accountant. So B is not the accountant. Okay. The lawyer does not live on the floor above the floor on which doctor lives. So lawyer is not living on the floor above doctor which means that doctor is staying above lawyer. So this is again confirmed that doctor is living above lawyer. Okay. Next thing. A, the professor lives on the floor immediately above the floor on which the lawyer lives. So A lives on the floor immediately above the floor on which lawyer lives. And A is a professor. A is a professor on the floor above which the lawyer lives. C is not a doctor. C is not a doctor. A is a professor. Since A is a professor, B can also not be a professor because A is a professor. Similarly, okay, let's, let's see. F, the scientist. F is a scientist, lives on the floor above. Uh, uh, F, F is a scientist who lives on the floor above the floor on which B lives. So F is a scientist. He lives on the floor above B. So not immediately, but above B. Okay, so B is also not the uh, scientist. Okay. Who is neither a consultant nor a doctor. So B is neither a consultant nor a doctor. So I have eliminated five professions for B. What are the only two possibilities left? These are lawyer and engineer. B can either be a lawyer or an engineer now because I have eliminated these five possibilities. B can either be a lawyer or we can either be an engineer. Okay, that. Now, he is a professor that I know. I have written everything down. Okay. What, what next? G lives exactly two floors below E. So G lives exactly two floors below G. Sorry, G uh, lives exactly two floors below E. Now, scientists live exactly three floors above the lawyer. So scientist lives exactly three floors above the I know lawyer and professionals hierarchy, lawyer and professor. So since scientist is living three floors above, so lawyer, profession, space and scientist. So this is what I have up to now. These are all the conditions. So let me use these conditions and let me try to fit in some values. I, I can use this lawyer, professor, space and scientist. Let me try to fill this. Lawyer, professor, space, scientist. Not possible. Lawyer, professor, space, scientist is possible scenario. Lawyer, not, not. So nothing else is possible. Nothing else. The only one scenario is possible. That is lawyer, professor, space, and scientist. 
if he's a scientist that i know i already have this data and then uh, a is a professor that i also know okay okay what else i haven't used this point the doctor is living above lawyer here is lawyer so doctor is living above the lawyer so doctor cannot live here so doctor must be living here or here so what is this place this place is left for consultant only no what else i haven't used i haven't used this e space g where i can fit e space g i can fit it here e space g okay okay as soon as i am fitting it over here what do i know i know that b b lives below e so b has to live somewhere here and b can either be a engineer or a lawyer so b can either be engineer or lawyer but as soon as i am writing e space g it is not possible which means that this case is not happening e g is not possible is there any other place yes other places uh, this then e space and g okay this is another scenario okay this is another scenario and then b has to be a lawyer because b can either be a lawyer or an engineer engineer since g is an engineer b has to be a lawyer then what else is left accountant and doctor there is not much info so this is accountant or a doctor this is accountant or a doctor so these are the two cases here and what else who are left c and d are left there is no information about c and d so either c and d lives here or c and d lives here so these are all the cases now let me move to the questions and let me try and see what is the probability e lives on the floor e lives on the seventh floor uh, which of the following statement is true e is on the seventh floor it is not true e is the accountant not true not necessarily true uh, it is probably true but not necessarily true c is an accountant again probably true but not necessarily true consultant lives on first floor it is perfectly true so the first answer is d second which of the following two statements if true will be sufficient to uniquely determine the professions of all seven people so i have to consider the statements one by one and then i have to see so if i see this e is a doctor if i take this e is a doctor so if e is a doctor this mean that c that this is an accountant but who is the accountant c is accountant or d is accountant that i don't not don't know that is i know so i i cannot say anything about this statement alone so let's leave that and let's pick second statement alone if i am saying d is a consultant if d is a consultant if d is a consultant then c and d then here will be the c i also know that c cannot be a doctor it is given to me c cannot be a doctor if c cannot be a doctor which means that here it is accountant and here it is a doctor now i know all the professions which means only using the second statement is giving me all the results so yani ki i will say that only second statement so b will be my result for this that using b alone i can find the answer this was a conditional thing so i will just write it back and i know for a fact that as for this is b b alone let's see this who among the following is engineer g is an engineer okay what is the profession of the person who lives on the floor immediately above the floor on which g lives scientist so this person is a so this is again the completion of the set pretty interesting in terms of how we should allocate data how we should organize our data so uh, if you wish to be the part of our legacy we have produced some super stupendous result in our first year join us with the link given in the description thank you so much guys have a good day